What is good, Foundation Nation? We're out here at the beautiful and iconic Fountain Hills Disc Golf Course for a booger battle against Team 262. Something just happened over there. Let's do it. Introducing the Bogey Bros West Coast Tour. I'm Tanner. I'm Nick. And how long have you guys been playing disc golf? Coming up on two and a half three, years. Yeah, two and a half, three years. Okay, cool. Did you guys start playing together? Yeah. Yeah, well, our friend got us into it, and then he moved away, and then we kind of became obsessed with it. Uh, how often do you guys play this course out here? Play it about once a week, I would say. Okay. Um, Probably played it about seven times total. Okay. What kind of shots do you think are going to be asked for the most out here? Um, the ones that are going to go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> a, lo a lot of accurate up shots shooting for the pins, a lot of slanted greens out here, a lot of risk of losing a disc. Uh, have you guys seen the channel before? Absolutely. Knowing their games a little bit, what advantage do you think you have over them going into this round? We're not saying putting. <laughs> We're not going to be putters today. I think it's going to be the up shots. Yeah. Okay. I think the up shots are going to... Let's see how straight they can throw their disc where they need to throw it. Two more things. What score do you think they're going to take out here today? Two or Ooh. three under. I mean, I've seen their games. I know that they can go for nine under, but... Two or three I feel under. like these slanted greens are going to get to them. A lot of bogeys. I'm thinking about a three under. For them. Okay, three under. All right. And then one more question. Scale one to ten, how confident are you they're going to beat the bogey bros today? Seven, eight. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pretty right, cool. confident. No technicalities today, boys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen across the nation, I have an urgent message for you. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped. The company that took your grooming to space is now launching it into the ultrasphere. Introducing the new Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra with a brand new cutting edge design and dual skin safe proprietary blade heads for different shapes. It's basically like a spaceship for your manscaping. Now you can join the 9 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with their brand new Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra and save some money while you're at it by going over to manscaped.com and using code WESTCOAST. This will get you 20% off and free shipping while you pick up some high tech for your low places. Now look, it can get scary at times when you're manscaping to go for that close shave. That's why I trust Manscaped. Manscaped's fifth generation trimmer features interchangeable skin safe technology blades, one for taking a little off the top and the other for going all the way down to your skin. We're also talking three length setting combs for all your desired lengths and oh, did I mention this thing's waterproof too? So go ahead and get 20% off and free shipping with code westcoast at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off and free shipping with the code westcoast over at manscaped.com. Your grooming routine's been through enough. Take it to that ultra level and pick this one up. All right, we'll look to see who goes first. If it lands on this, it's us. That'll be them. Thank you. Yes, we can say um, hello and goodbye to my MVP here. <laughs> uh, probably not going to make it over the water. If we do, it's going to be one good time. I'll get free. Get, get over. there. Oh. How well, deep I, can, I can get that one. Okay. <laughs> Yep, good job. I didn't come all this way to lay up. Yeah, good shot. It got there quick, Trevor. What'd you say, Hunter? It got there quick. Oh, wait, no, it has a chance. That's all right, we're on the edge. Before we make it on to the next hole, gotta give a huge shout out to one of the big supporters of this tour, one of the reasons that we're out here, and that is Flippy Disc Golf. We've been wearing their apparel for this entire tour. It's been keeping us cool in the desert heat out here in Arizona, especially. Right now, I'm wearing one of their new Soul Pro Material polos. This one here is actually from our very own collection. These are some West Coast inspired patterns that we worked with Flippy to create, stuff that we really liked, and all that is linked in our description, so make sure to go to the description, click on that, and check out our collection, check out everything they have. If you've never worn Flippy Disc Golf apparel before, they have all the perfect apparel for disc golf, everything from polos to their new Soul Pro dry fits, to windbreakers, to t-shirts, and hats, everything you could possibly need, so make sure to click that link in the description, check it out, let's move on to the next hole. 580 some, par three, just straight up on the edge of the water, on that. Par four yeah. on that slanty hill. That makes more sense. It makes me feel a lot better about myself. Just chilling out there. So just get uh, probably a turnover or forehand. 
out into the open, a little chip up, and there you go. Oh, that's a tree. They're not of it. It's a good tree, though. That was in the water. Hey, if we're playing A, park time. <laughs> Just that. And it flipped all the way over. Wow. We'll see if this disc turns or not. Trevor's never thrown this disc before. Oh, it's really flippy. Yeah, it's going to cut rolling in the water instead. And yo! It's really flippy. It is flippy. There's one. Oh, that's got to get last. That's going right, though. Good shot. Oh, that's way last, man. All right, we're looking at a 294 foot par three, just chilling right out there. Sidewalk and beyond OB, and this pavilion over here to left OB. No feeling. He likes to chase them. Does he? Yeah, this is just a good place to walk with dogs. Oh, well. That doesn't really get stable either. Not quite enough skill. I just threw a lot wider than I intended. Get over there. Come on, skip. Yeah. Yeah, good fight. Alright, we got 250 right there, sidewalk and beyond OB. Pretty straightforward. That's good. Skip. Yep, good shot. Baby zone skip. All right, we got 457 downhill, par three, road and beyond OB, sidewalk and beyond left OB. Um, some trouble with some electrical boxes, and I want to call it a bush. It looks very, like, very pokey bush, but I don't think it's cactus down you're there. To get just under the right side of that tree. Right? So you're just trying to get right past the tree. Yeah. I think you have to throw it flat over that tree. Oh, too wide. Skip. Might still be in balance though. You might have crushed it. No, it's very tight. I think it's yeah. up right there. Yeah, it stayed in the ground. A little pump jet. That was pretty good. It's good flight. Yeah, it's out there. It didn't throw it hard enough. Yeah, good shot. Oh, it's still OB. All right. Ooh, good bid. All right, we got about 200 some feet straight up the hill. Um, I don't know if the camera can see. Kind of like peeking through the branches, just straight up there. Road and beyond OB. Sidewalk and beyond OB. Basically, pick your pick and choose over the top or straight up the middle. I don't know if anyone's crazy enough to go straight up the middle, but. That looks pretty good. Oh, 
There's no reaction up there, oh, so. <laughs> I'm going to go faster and, and like kind of just chip it. Yours isn't there that is You got a head knot. I thought you almost forward bounced into the you cage. You got a head knot, I got nothing. <laughs> Haven't hit a line all day, figure let's go right I, through the middle here. Oh, oh yeah. let's go. Oh. Hey, you hit the gap. All right. W. We might just take yours just to say we took the one that went up the middle. He's <laughs> a lot of work. Good putt. Good putt. Good putt. foot par three. Chill him right there. Sidewalk and beyond OB, and it's on a peninsula. So actually, look right here. So this is the basket. So the water cuts in before and then right after. You Very won't, close. You won't go also, you guys need to realize that this fountain shoots way higher than you think it it's does so on tall. coverage. So tall. It, you, I mean, you, that would thing cut you in half. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. It's stuck. <laughs> what a shot. Oh, I fucked it. Yeah. Hit the ground. Yeah, hit the ground. I heard ground. <laughs> oh, Alright, Nick, we're safe, so you can run it. Ooh. Oh, come Under on. That. Under that. Dang. That was looking really yeah, good, though. That's okay. oh. oh, man. Ooh. Got a 569 foot par four out here. Uh, so we're shooting kind of just down here and then off to another peninsula. Um, very iconic hole. Yeah. Kind of rip a hyzer out there, I'm pretty sure. Unless you want to, one of us feeling the big Annie flex. No, but not, as you can tell. Trevor's already lost two discs, so he's Yeah. Not. Well, the problem is I haven't even lost them in good ways. I lost, well, one of them, that was fair because I didn't know how that flew. The other one, I mean, just didn't know there was water there and I fluffed it. It was a double suck. All right, we're going to see what the Raider does. Hope she didn't flip into the interstate. Here we go. Over that, uh, got over. It's still fine. Yeah, good shot. Fine, bro. Come on, give me something. That was a good shot. Get under. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. Oh, dang. Thank get his lucky. Yeah, great shot. Look out, Hunter. Man, 415 foot par three. So it's similar to this peninsula, just the next peninsula down, but a very similar pin location where it's just like a basket surrounded by water. Um, very tight window here, a few different options. That's what I like, yeah, cutting it in there, trying to flip something all the way I'm up. I'm not a huge, huge boy. <laughs> I think you have to be a huge, huge boy to throw to that right gap. That's like the one place I didn't think I'd lose a disc in a tree. Oh yeah, Hunter. Yeah, good job. Up and down. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, good shot. Oh, yeah, great shot. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's a great shot, Hunter. Great up. Yeah, good 
Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. Oh, get it. Oh, come on. Get come it. on. Oh, oh, man. 300 some foot par three. Chilling in the shadows right there. Um, road and beyond OB. It looks like there's an OB. Oh, that stuff up by the sign up there. OB as well. Oh, to the side. Hold it for him, hold it for him, hold it. Dang it, dude. That sucks. That's, That's a long flight, we're fine. Oh, that sucks. Come out. Out. I don't think I've ever been You don't throw the Calvin destroyer. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get up there. Yeah, good shot. Get up Like that. Oh, no. Come on, Hunter. Oh man, I thought that was good. All right, about 380, 390, maybe 400, depending on who you ask. Right behind those trees out there. Looks like the OB isn't too, too much in play. Road and beyond, sidewalk and beyond, typical. Turned it. Turned it a lot, wow. Not expect that hit speed. Dang, this hole's really hard. Yeah, good shot. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, I didn't put enough in. That roll also went very far. <laughs> we did go really far. Ah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bank shot. 286 foot, par three, edge of the hill right there. So I walk beyond OB. There, T. Oh, wow. That's if never wanted to go left for me. Hmm, that was a good right shot, a lot of headwind. Right Good bid. Dang. About 300 feet just right there. Road and beyond, well sidewalk and beyond up there OB. Shouldn't really come into play. Yeah, good shot Hunter. Nice. Oh yeah, good shot Trev. Oh! Short. Oh man, that looks so good. 370 downhill, chilling next to that tree in the shadows. Dang, that is playing really far. Good stop. Good stop, Hunt. I'm seeing water. You, you're seeing the person. I'm seeing you're water. You're seeing the person. Oh, no, you're good. Oh. Good tree. Good tree. Oh, I didn't turn that enough. Hit drop, hit drop, hit drop. Oh. Going swimming. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh no, that's not it. Four thirty. Far three, just sit in front of those trees. This is so much farther than it looked on coverage. Yeah, yeah, it is. Great shot, Hunter. Heck yeah. Gosh, that went well. Hmm. Dang, not stable enough. Not there though. Not there at least. Tough act to follow. I feel like shot my life. That was a good one. It just like, it got it was so low too. It was just being that it. That thing just kept going and going and going. I like this whole thing. Just as easy it looks on coverage. No, it's it's hard. You're just as good as they are on coverage. Yeah. That's just too high. I don't know why I had so much confidence, dude. You know I can't putt on Anheuser. <laughs> oh! I'm really glad that you guys chewed that one. 322, par 3. Uh, Mando right of the tree right there. Are you saying the right tree or left tree? Tall tree. Yeah. Tall tree. Mando right of the taller tree. Bastard's just chilling in the field right there. Yeah, great shot. Just go for ace runs. That won't do it. Hey, if we're going back for that other basket, we're safe. Four hundred and sixty-two foot par three downhill behind those two palm trees. Sidewalk and beyond, which is water down there. Sidewalk and beyond OB. That was really good height. Oh. Yeah, good putt. 397 par three. Out there, surrounded by water OB. Sidewalk and beyond OB. Just barely in there. Just back. barely. <laughs> took it on. I took it on, you know. <laughs> I took it on. I took it on. Started my day in the water. Let's not end my day in the water. That's poetic. <laughs> Thank you. You're That's welcome. Yeah, I'm motivational. When you're plus one, man, you know, <laughs> you got you to gotta find something. Maybe art is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think art's my thing. <laughs> yeah. 
stay there. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. good shot, there good shot. The last hole of the day we're gonna throw a disc I've never thrown before. Heck yeah. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Oh. Mm. Get that one, go get it. That was a oh. good first and last throw. Send it off with a bang. <laughs> hey, lay up, lay up challenge. Good height. Yeah, it's monkey see, monkey do do. Oh, nice. well, there you have it. That wraps up our round out here at Fountain Hills. It lived up to every bit of hype and expectation I had in my mind. Super fun course. Some of the holes were a lot longer than I expected. Some of the holes were a lot shorter than expected. But it was just as be beautiful as it seemed. Um, glad we got to see the fountain going off too. I didn't realize it was every hour on the hour. I thought it was a rare thing. So that was fun. See you next one.